and welcome back everyone and today I have for you a video on the challenge competitors that have played dirty that they have used shady tactics to win by any means necessary now playing dirty could have all different connotations and so for this specific video I'm gonna be looking at players who use shady tactics specifically during elimination battles. In 37 seasons of the challenge, there have been a ton of eliminations to go through. So in this video, I only used a handful of eliminations that I thought that players use dirty tactics and play dirty in those eliminations to try to win. So if you think of a moment that you felt that has happened on the challenge where somebody played dirty in elimination but you don't see it highlighted in this video, let me know down in the comments section below because if I make a part two of this video, then I will possibly use your suggestions from the comment sections. But let's start off talking about the first instance that popped into my head when I thought of this topic, and that is from season 36, Double Agents, where we have Fessy going up against Nelson in the hall brawl. Now, coming into the elimination, Fessy saw the hall brawl, he knew Nelson was the house vote, yet he did not care. He did not care if he was going up against a friend, an ally. He just saw Hall Brawl, he saw that gold skull, and he was like, I want it. So he told Tori to send him down, which she did. And so it was going to be friend versus friend, and I use friend very loosely. As you would not think that Fessy and Nelson were friends, by the way, Fessy attacks Nelson in this elimination. Despite Fessy having a height and weight advantage over Nelson, Fessy tackles Nelson in the middle of this hall brawl and just slams his body down into the dirt over and over and over again, rips off some safety equipment, puts like his face in the dirt and tries to put it in his eyes. He's pulling at Nelson's hurt finger, trying to get any advantage possible. Fessy's playing so dirty right now. And even after round one, TJ has to tell Fessy, look, we're not playing dirty. You got round one, you got that point, but no more funny business. All right, scores one nothing, Fessy. Fessy, there's no more dirty play, man. The round two was significantly cleaner than round one, but the damage was already done. The backstabbing, the blind side, the playing dirty was already done, but Nelson isn't a stranger to friends playing dirty in eliminations as we go back to season 30, Dirty 30, where we have Jordan pulling up the double cross and sending Hunter in against Nelson, one of his best friends and alliance members of the TYB into the elimination called Rampage. And in this elimination, Hunter played the same sort of tactics that Fessy did. In round one, everything was fine. Hunter got the first point, round two, Nelson got the second point, then it was 1-1 going into the third round, the sudden death round. Whoever won this got to stay in the game while the other person would be sent to the redemption house. They were in a stalemate locked up next to each other, and that's when Hunter decided that he was going to pull on Nelson's arm, he was going to pull on his fingers, pull them back, try to get them dislocated. You can even hear somebody in the crowd saying, let go of his hand, worried that Nelson was going to get seriously injured. Hunter even says in the confessional that he was trying to pull Nelson's arm out of his socket, do whatever he can to win the elimination against a friend. I'm trying to pull his arm out of socket. I'm doing everything I can. Nelson would win this elimination two rounds to one, sending Hunter to the redemption house. And I find there's some karma to this because even though Hunter was trying to hurt Nelson's arm, it was Hunter who would go on to get a fracture in his own arm, which would bar him from getting into the finals. Now let's move to season 27, Battle of the Bloodlines, where we have Kara versus Anissa in the final elimination of the season called Mine Not Yours, which is a pole wrestle variance. Now the tension coming into this elimination was at an all time high because not only is this to get into the finals, but also on the night prior, Anissa and Kara got into a heated, argument with one another on the bus when they were at the club. Ooh, when I get pissed off, cousin. Back the off. Both women were using any tactics to get an advantage in this elimination. They were putting their knees on each other's heads, they were using their feet, they were elbowing each other, they were 
taking shots whenever they could. TJ was trying to keep this elimination as clean as possible, but there was no stopping these women taking shots at one another. Kara would go on to win this elimination two rounds to nothing, and Anissa and Kara did share a hug with each other. I think that there was so much pent up aggression and anger, not only from their heated exchange on the bus, but through the whole season in general, both Anissa and Kara were just like, really tested that season. And I think they were just letting it all out in that moment. And once it was done, I think that they were able to bury the hatchet and come together and come to an understanding. But speaking of Anissa, let's stay on Anissa as she was in another altercation or another elimination where there were some uh, dirty tactics, some shots being taken. And that was in season 17, Duel 2, where in the first elimination, we have Anissa versus Siobhan in the back off elimination. And this one, from the very beginning, from the jump, was heated. As this elimination turned from a friendly competition to what seemed like a hockey brawl, as the women were grabbing each other's shirts and holding each other off and then taking shots at each other. They were just punching each other. And TJ was like, look, this is not a wrestling match. You have to go for the rings. Grab the rings off of each other's backs and then put them on your own rings. Multiple points of this elimination, the rings were just strewn across this elimination arena and the women would be attacking each other. I'm gonna Don't punch me. me my face. Don't joke me. Anissa did finally get the win two rounds to nothing. And you could tell that tensions were still high at the end of this because Siobhan took Anissa's shirt and was stepping on it after everything was already said and done. And this was an instance where both sides were taking shots at each other. But one time that shots were taking at only one person and they were down for the count was in season 35, Total Madness, where in the fireball elimination, we have Jay in his third elimination of the season in episode five slash six. And then you have Rogan, who was in his first elimination of his challenge career. And there was a lot of animosity between these two. More so that Rogan wanted to take Jay's head off because Jay had made out with D, who was in a sort of like friends with benefits situation with Rogan from War of the Worlds 2 to even Total Madness, despite Rogan not really even wanting a relationship with D at all on that season. But also, Jay in episode three, had taken out CT, one of Rogan's best friends in the house. And to put on top of that, everybody was calling Rogan scared, soft, because of what happened in War of the Worlds 2, where he didn't see a single elimination, and he was pretty much worried and playing scared on that season because he didn't want to see an elimination. I feel like if I do enough damage to Jay and prove my point and scare people, They'll leave me alone once I've got that red skull. So coming into Total Madness, he knew he would have to go into an elimination and he decided to pick on the smallest competitor there. And in the very first moments of TJ blowing that horn, he throws down Jay with such force, lays into Jay, and then pushing his head into the sand, getting up. Jay would ultimately have to be medically DQ'd from this elimination and the game because he suffered a concussion during this elimination and Rogan was reluctantly rewarded the elimination win for hurting Jay to the point where he had to be medically DQ'd. Another UK member taking some shots and playing a little bit dirty in their elimination is Melissa versus Sylvia in Vendetta's season 31. And this game is dirty. And they were playing a rough elimination where the women had to grab a ball and get it to their barrel. And they were slipping around in all this oil. And Melissa did whatever she could to take shots at Sylvia and try to win. She would pull Sylvia's hair. She was giving her some gut shots with her knee. You can tell from the sidelines that all the competitors were shocked at what they were witnessing during this elimination. Melissa is playing a dirty ass game. She's kneeing Sylvia, biting, pulling hair. As Melissa was raining down wrath onto Sylvia, but somehow, no matter how many shots 
Sylvia took and how dirty Melissa played in this elimination, Sylvia was able to take home the win and stay in this game for a few episodes longer before she was medically DQ'd. Now when coming up with this list and trying to figure out who was playing dirty on purpose, I had to look into the matchups, the competitors, and what the competitors intent could be coming into the specific elimination. And another elimination that just popped into my brain comes in Battle of the X's 2, season 26, the final elimination of the season where we have Teresa versus Nani in X battle. This is again, another pole wrestle variant and Teresa was coming in as a replacement for Naya as she was DQ'd and pulled from the season late in the game. And so Teresa was coming in and Teresa and Nani had been fighting the whole season. There was some definite tension and animosity towards one another. With this elimination, anything goes and I'm going for it. And they expelled all of that in this X battle. They were putting knees in each other's backs, feet on their faces. <laughs> And they were even biting at one point. When I think of an elimination where somebody says, I have to win by any means necessary, I think of this elimination, the Teresa versus Nani X battle. I don't even think that the finals were on each other's minds. I think that that played a factor in how hard they win at each other, but I also think that they were just happy to get in a point where they could get physical with one another and try to hurt each other. And even when Teresa was declared the winner, she spiked down the X battle X and it almost hit Nani. And the final instance I have of someone playing dirty in an elimination comes in season 34, War of the Worlds 2, where we have Bear versus Wes in the firing squad elimination, where the competitors had to grab a ball that TJ fired into the ring and then get it to their barrel. Now coming into this elimination, Bear and Wes had a rivalry that stemmed from the prior season, season 33, War of the Worlds. And so coming into this season, Bear wanted to take Wes on, wanted to take Wes out, and Wes was blindsided being voted in by his own team of Josh and Laurel. Two to one, he was voted into the elimination against Bear. He wasn't feeling the best. He was kind of out of this elimination, but even when in the elimination, he still put up a fight, but Bear put up even more of a fight, especially when he was going more for hitting Wes in the head, getting an elbow to the head and taking shots at Wes instead of going for the ball, which TJ had to say multiple times, hey, the ball's over here. You guys off the ball there. Come on, get up, get up. Even the competitors that were watching from the bleachers were saying, hey, he's taking some cheap shots at Wes here. Bear was able to best Wes in this elimination, cheap shots and all, and Wes was eliminated early on the season while Bear got to stay in the game for a little while longer before he went into an elimination against Joss and lost. But that is it for this video of everybody playing dirty in eliminations type setting. If you have a moment that came popping into your head while you were watching this video, but I did not highlight it in this video, let me know down in the comment section below. And what do you think about this list? Who do you think played the dirtiest in eliminations from this list? And if you thought of one while you were watching this video, let me know anything and everything down in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. And I want to give a special shout out. Thank you to everyone who supports me over at patreon.com slash Angel Cake Vids, thank you so much for your support. I really, really appreciate it. And again, thank you for watching through this video. I'll be back soon with more challenge content, more content in general. But until then, peace.